reality of wrestling, the flagship of Texas wrestling. You just can't see it anywhere else. He's the 15th feet of the air. Brian takes him up top. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Go testify. The road to Summer of Champions is almost to its end. We are one week away, and the action is heating up. I'm Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for the row. And ladies and gentlemen, we now know after last week's main event that Ryan Davidson is going to get his hands on Stevie Ray. But Brad, he's going to need a tag team partner. Where is he going to find one? Well, you know, that's the one thing. Stevie Ray's going to put him in a corner here because I, uh, not a lot of people like Ryan Davidson. He's done a lot of things over the years, including to myself and many others backstage. So he's going to have to go searching for a tag team partner. But, you know, Summer Champions 4 is right around the corner. He better get to looking. Yeah, absolutely. And in our main event tonight, we are going to determine the number one contender, finally, for the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship. And that winner will head on to Summer of Champions 4 to face J.J. Blake. It's Cameron Cole versus Terrell Tempo in our main event. We know they both had a shot already, Matt DePaul. We saw Tempo and Cameron Cole both challenge J.J. Blake at the same exact time. And guess what? They came up short. I don't know why we're giving them another opportunity here. I, there's no reason to. You need to find a new number one contender because J.J. Blake has beat everybody. He's did, beat everybody. Did J.J. Blake pay you to say that? No. I'm sure he did. He did not. Well, we're going to get a legitimate number one contender right here tonight in our main event when Cameron Cole and Terrell Tempo go one-on-one. -on -one. That and so much more because the reality of wrestling starts right now. From Abilene, Texas, weighing 220 pounds, Kiefer Morton. Here comes Matt Topolsky, star tech. Man Buns and title runs himself. Goal. The title runs. He's going to have to start winning some matches here at the Reality of Wrestling, and it's been a tough, tough sledding for him since the pool broke up, and he took a super kick to the face, courtesy of his former tag team partner and best friend Cameron Cole. But hey, have faith in the star tech, Matt Topolsky. Polsky, you brought up an interesting point. A lot of the times in the history of professional wrestling, when you see a team split up, you see one member ascend to the top, and you see the other kind of, you know, slowly go away. Um, Bartek, a.k.a. StarTech, is not going to let that happen. He is going to be the man in this company. He is going to be the top guy. He's going to live up to every oh, thing he's ever said man buns and title runs. Well, it's very possible that that could happen, but it remains to be seen, and it's interesting that you bring up that former tag partner and best friend of his, because he is in the main event tonight. 
against Terrell Tempo, and if he wins, he becomes the number one contender for the television championship. And that is the difference right here between Bartek starting off the action tonight against a young and hungry Joseph McGow, and Cameron Cole potentially putting himself in position to be a main event star here at Reality of Wrestling. Well, that sounds like some bias from your end. I'm going to be quite honest. I'm with just you calling here. it the way I see it. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. Joseph Agal, though, a guy who has got received a couple of opportunities at a championship here in Reality Wrestling. Some very, very great showings against the Texas oh! champion, Rex Andrews. That hurt and Camarada right there. Dropping Bartek on his head. Cover early on, just a one count, but Joseph Agal. He reminds me of a superhero, Joseph Agal. He reminds me of the Black Panther. The way he moves, the way he attacks, the way he pounces. Oh! the trouble that he's given Rex Andrews in the past. Not from Wakanda, but from Haiti. Oh, Haiti, I should say. Bartek, lateral press, two. Don't go anywhere, Row Nation. This matchup will continue in a moment. A man bun suck chance breaking out here in reality wrestling. What I'm saying is Bartek has to get it. Get it out of the head. He does, he's not going to be the Kelly Rowland of, of, of the Destiny's Child, if you will. He is going to got oh, focused and focus just like that. A well, big he may shot. have knocked out Joseph Agal with that big boot, that flying boot cover here. Oh, oh my goodness. Two and 15, 16s I mean, right he there. refers to himself as Star Tech. Well, that was the Millennium Falcon right there of boots to the face. Yeah, right. You are Matt Topolsky. Oh, good pull there. Vulcan or Falcon? I've always wondered. Well, oh. I believe you're channeling Vulcan, which comes from the other series based on the stars. Okay, there you go. Thank you for. Oh, beat me up, Scotty! Wow! Do the best that I can. What a shot! Ducks underneath. Oh! A series of knife edge chops. This is where Joseph McGow thrives with that low center of gravity right there looking perhaps for a German suplex. Reversal. Bartek now trying to use that size to his advantage. Goes for that suplex over the top. And Joseph McGowan here Miguel. with a sleeper hole. Joseph McGowan, he doesn't have it all the way locked in. He's got a half lock on it. But if he can move that elbow to the front of the throat of Bartek, he would have had a sleeper hole locked in. But not able to. Joseph McGowan, though, with a back elbow. Now Joseph, big jo Joseph Agao's size may make him on paper appear to be the underdog, but he has proven time and time again that not only can he overcome the odds, you see right there, Leapfrog over the top, pick out at two, one of the future stars here at Reality of Wrestling. You know, very strong showings, like I said, against Rex Andrews. Oh! Version of a code breaker right there. Pulls him to the center of the ring, hooks both legs, lateral press, kick out. At two, as Bartek slips out the back door, perhaps a little frustration there from Joseph Agal. Oh. Steven in the corner, but runs into a knee. Oh, it's oh, Startek! Those are the moments right there. If Bartek can consistently channel that, then he will start to experience victories here at the row. Goes for that big spear. Reversal here from Joseph oh. McGow with a German suplex with a bridge cover. Joseph McGow gets the W. Here is your winner, Joseph McGow. Another victory for the Haitian warrior, Joseph McGow. As he looks to cement his place at Summer of Champions 4. A big night of action still ahead. The leader of Legion in action against Brooklyn's finest Tyree Taylor. And a main event you can't miss with the number one contendership for the television title up for grabs. More reality of wrestling coming at you in a moment. Hey, what's up, Cam? Hey. Hey, man, I just want to let you know what happens tonight, it's nothing personal, man. I like you, but 
the thing between me and JJ, that's personal. And tonight you're standing in the way of that. I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm not pulling any punches. I could say the same and you know what? I wouldn't want any other way. <laughs> Glad you said it. May the best man win. I plan on it. You won a match, big deal, congratulations. If we lose this, we lose everything. We lose our power. Booker T is stacking the deck against us. And you guys are trying to celebrate? Are you serious? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Booker T has been against us since day one. If we lose this, we lose everything, okay? Not just me, not just you, and not just you, Diego. All of us. Booker T is trying to get the familia out of the reality. The rest of them, don't you see that? I'm not gonna let this happen. You guys wanna celebrate? Go ahead. I'm gonna get a plan together. Look, well, we did win, right? <sighs> Come on. Come on, we won. We won. Ryan Davidson, we saw you defeating Abel Andrew Jackson. Stipulation was as such that you could get your hands on Stevie Ray. But Stevie Ray turned it on its head and says that, yeah, you can get him in a tag team match. Abel and Stevie Ray versus you and a partner at Summer of Champions. But, um, Ryan, your time with Stevie Ray didn't really endear yourself to the row locker room here. Of course it didn't. Of course it didn't. Why wouldn't it? And it... Bravo, man. Bravo. Using your brain once again. Expert tutelage, right? Yeah. Of course. See, I was a faithful soldier. I did everything that was asked of me since day one. Day one. That came with the price. Was I liked? Pfft. Not by a long shot. I was hated. I can say I was probably the most hated man in this company. Period. And I did it because... I. I I just wanted to win, and I did. I won a lot, but like I said, it came with the price. But yet, Stevie, here we are. Think you got it all figured out, man, right? You're so smart. Oh, should give you a medal, huh? Mm, that's cool, man. So now I got to find a tag partner. Probably not going to, with my luck. Probably on the fact that since everybody has hated my guts after everything I've done, hey, I'm not, I'm not shelling away from that. I'm not. I accept it as a man, which you should accept what's coming to you as a man. See, Stevie, you can have Abel in your corner. Have three guys, have four guys, have five guys. I don't care how many people you put in your corner, Stevie. Whatever you have to do, at the end of the day, summer of champions, I will get my hands on you. I will get my vengeance that you started. Do I know how? No. But all I know, it will happen. I promise you, I promise you, I will hey, take care Abel, of this. Abel, I will Abel. take care of this. I promise. Don't worry about it. Think about it. How many people at Worthless Ryan can get us a tag team partner? Nobody. Everybody hates him. He's messed over everybody. Trust me, it's going to be a two-on-one. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. I, you're not going to have to worry about anything. I guarantee I will do all the heavy lifting. I, I know. I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Steve. But Steve. Steve. Uh, Abel, Abel Andrew Jackson, was that Stevie Ray on the phone? Uh, can't you see? Can't you see what I'm dealing with right now, man? Can't you? Do you have a heart? If uh, you do, get out of my VIP room, please. Well, we have the uh, get out. Thank, thank you for your time.
JJ Blake. JJ. Tonight in the main event. Introduce me, Russo. JJ Blake, defending reality wrestling champion of all televisions. JJ, tonight, number one contenders match for this championship of televisions here between Jarrell Tempo, Cameron Cole. The winner will face you at Summer of Champions here for this very title. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you want my thoughts? That would be nice, yes. Please. These two losers are getting participation awards right now. Getting sent to them in the mail. That's what they're getting. Hey, you got another shot for the umpteenth time against J.J. Blake, the champion of every single television in the world. Yet again, tell me, tell me. Give me some background on Tempo and Cole. Come on, tell, tell everybody watching at home right now. Give them some background. Cameron Cole and Terrell Tempo are at the very top here of the ranking system for the television championship. And Booker and the office have put them in this match here. Give They're me a history lesson, Russo. You want me to tell them that you've defeated both of them? They know it. They know that. They know I beat them. I look better than them. I got more charisma than them. I, I, I talk better than them. I, I talk. I talk. Look, ain't nobody talk better than me. I'm the best talking reality of wrestling. They know that. All right, so you're going to be two all up here. Just, <laughs> I won the championship of the televisions, and, like, I'm going to go home to mom and, and show her. And then you put that doof, that haggard-looking Cameron Cole. What? And what? For nothing. For nothing. He's nobody. Temple's a nobody. They're all nobodies. They're losers. Just like everybody watching at home, just like you. I got somewhere to go, so I'm out. All right, you just and stuff. Guys, get out. Let's go. Let's go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Loomis, weighing 170 pounds, representing Legion, Shaw. The Demonic Collective has been faced with some challenges recently. As you can see, Sean Hendricks, well, one would claim he's one half of the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, but right now, he is the sole holder of the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Championships, excuse me, because Nomak has been indefinitely suspended by Booker T for reasons unknown. Some problems for Legion, Brad Gilmore. Right, you are Matt Topolsky with Sean Hendricks standing tall with both titles. His opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing 310 pounds, Tyree well, Taylor. Well, Matt Topolsky, they're scared to death, they're scared to look, they're shook, because ain't no such things as halfway crooks. It's Tyree Taylor from the BK. A thunderous ovation for Brooklyn's finest, Tyree Taylor. And he has been on a hot streak in the last few weeks here at the Reality of Wrestling. A big victory just weeks ago over Taylor Ransom and the Row Nation is stoked about Tyree Taylor going one-on-one -on -one with Sean Hendricks. We are just a few weeks away from Summer of Champions 4, and you can get your tickets right now at realityofwrestling.com. You don't want to miss it. It is the flagship event for the flagship of Texas Wrestling. And here we go. This promises to be a good one here tonight, Matt Topolsky. Tyree Taylor with the size and strength advantage. I'm sure there's no doubt about that at all, but he still has to worry about the numbers game with Loomis on the outside of the ring for Legion. As we spoke about earlier, Nomak no longer a part of the reality of wrestling. We don't know any more about it than that, but Sean Hendricks has to right the ship in Legion. Look at that. That's that size advantage by Tyree and the power advantage. Hate to cut you off there, Matt Topolsky, but wow, look at the strength. Look at the strength. Oh. 
Irish whip off the ropes. Tyree Taylor would love to keep this streak of winning oh, going wow. here. Oh my goodness! And Sean Hendricks looks like he ran head first into an 18-wheeler. Someone needs to call Walker, Texas lawyer. I need to call a Hilton Furniture, get you a recliner because you're going to be flat on your back for a couple weeks after that one. Wow. Oh! oh! Holy moly. I don't even know what you call that, but it was a devastating slam. Tyree Taylor just powering Sean Hendricks down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Looked like he was going to go for that tailor-made moonsault, but Loomis jumping up on the ring apron. That's the numbers game you alluded to earlier, Matt. The ball! Oh! Wow. Sean Hendricks taking over instinctually taking advantage of the situation like he's done so many times before. Reverse DDT off the second rope there. And Sean no. Hendricks has to have it on his mind that coming up at Summer of Champions, he's going to have to somehow defend those tag team titles. One has to believe. I don't think he's fully focused on the task at hand here, and that could mean advantage Tyree Taylor. We know what, you're right, Matt Topolsky. I mean, in the last few weeks here in Reality Wrestling, we've seen the Legion lose two members, so one would have to ascertain that maybe Loomis is gonna be his new tag team partner, and there's a free bird rule on the championships. I'm not exactly sure. Sean Hendricks rolls through. Oh, what an innovative neck breaker right there from the leader of Legion. Hooks that tree trunk of a leg cover here, but a kick out at two by Tyree Taylor. have to remind everyone still to come here tonight on the reality of wrestling Cameron Cole and Terrell Tempo will go one-on-one -on -one, and the winner will be crowned the number one contender for JJ Blake's television championship and JJ Blake will be joining us here at ringside for commentary that's still to come I know you're looking forward to that you're looking forward to that I know you're looking forward to it you're there's right, no I doubt am. about that he's an Adonis oh but right now Sean Hendricks trying to chop down Tyree Taylor one blow at a time wow look at the knee to the temple Cover here, center of the ring, it could be all. Kick out at two. Oh, wow, two and a half there by our referee. Sean Hendricks close to wrapping it up and beating the big man. Oh, oh. The reality of Wrestling oh. Nation oh. is hyped. Next week, Summer of Champions 4 begins right here on the CW. And you know Tyree Taylor would love to head into Summer of Champion on a winning streak. Oh my goodness! Wow! A tornado clothesline from Brooklyn's finest to Houston, Texas! Oh! And Sean Hendricks may be down for the duration of the summer! Yeah, there's Loomis. Loomis is back. On the ropes, Loomis always looming. Oh, it's getting from bad to worse for Legion. Turn around, Sean Hendricks! Uh oh! Listen to this ovation. I think it's safe to say that Tyree Taylor is one of Brooklyn's top three exports, and that's including Jay-Z and Captain America. I am and you know what I'm about custom made custom paid and custom fitted pay up and of course you always hell van pay up but let's get straight to business you see for years the reality of wrestling has seen countless young talented hard-working individuals 
But let me tell you what this company has not seen from its talent. Aggressive expansion. Pay up. Pure ambition. Pay up. You see, myself and Van Harrison ain't here to be flies on the wall. We ain't here to crack open cold ones with the boys. No, we are here to destroy anything and everything that stands before us. Collect the checks and bounce. Pay up. Just like we did when we disposed of former tag team champions, the Alpha Unit. Arguably one of the most hard hitting tag teams in reality of wrestling history. So friends, Bo, you're looking at the hottest thing going in the row. You're looking at the future of professional wrestling. You are looking at A-T-M. Hey! Oh! Tonight's episode of The Row is brought to you by Walker Texas Lawyer at walkertexaslawyer.com. Built in furniture, let them have it. Quality Blinds. Go to qualityblindsllc.com for free shipping anywhere in the USA. And the king of solar screens, home of the $50 any size solar screen. Welcome back to the reality of wrestling. He's Brad Gilmore, and I'm Matt Topolsky for the row. And Brad, a big main event coming up next. Here we're going to see who the number one contender for J.J. Blake's television championship is going to be at the Summer of Champions. And guess what, Matt Topolsky? J.J. Blake's going to be with us on commentary. All that is right now. At this time, please welcome to the commentary table the reality of wrestling television champion, Jay Jay Lee. Allow me to introduce our guest, Matt Topolsky, from Virginia Beach, Virginia. He weighs in at 230 pounds. Matt Topolsky, he's a company to ring by Tiny, which only he and I can call him. He is the champion of all television worldwide. His ratings are through the roof. He is the die, no, might, Adonis, Jay, Jay Blake. Watch him. Watch him. Jay, Jay. Introducing first, from Santa Monica, California, weighing 185 pounds, Cameron. Oh! We certainly want to welcome the television channel. I know I'm welcome. I know I'm welcome. So you start first, man. I'm always welcome. Tell him, Brad. Always welcome. I'm handsome. I'm so handsome. I got my handsome behind this table. You're going up in stock right now. You already got you. Oh, you got me. Now, now you got me. Now it's two out of three. I like it. It's, uh, man, who's this, Cameron Cole? What do you think of Cameron Cole? I'm gonna tell you what I think of him. He ain't nothing. He's I, nothing. How many times I done beat him, Brad? A lot. A lot. I can't, I can't, I can't even count. count. You I, can't count. I can't count. I, can't count. I, I know Sapolsky knows. I mean, oh, actually, you know, I beat him on this many times and this many minutes. Blah, 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 blah. I done beat him. I done beat him once, twice, twice. The brakes off and the brakes back on him. I done beat him so much, he shouldn't even be in this match right now. I said that earlier. And, well, you, know, you, you, both, you beat both of these men. Just, why, just, why? just last month or something. Just last month. A couple weeks ago. His opponent and then there's from Leveland, Texas, weighing 236 pounds, Terrell Tempo. Well, this is your main event for the number one contendership for the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship. Cameron Cole versus this, this, this man, this the main event. one of the hottest stars in reality of wrestling today, Terrell Tempo. And the winner of this matchup will face J.J. Blake at Summer of Champions 4. Look, so look, look Matt, the they, don't they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Wait, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Matt, and I'd like for you to answer this question. J.J. Blake has beat Cameron Cole in singles action. He's beat Terrell Tempo multitude of times, including in the in first ever... In singles action. In singles action, including in the first ever No Limit Steel Cage match. He beat them both at the same time. 
at the same time. Why Why do they deserve, either one of them deserve a shot? Why? why? Again, tell me that. Answer that question, Tobolsky. I would have to say that you have a sizable insurance policy behind you, which doesn't permit me to answer that question. Ooh. Don't talk no jive over here, Mr. Polsky. We're not here anyway. for it. Anyway, I don't know. We're if not here looking, for it. I don't know if the camera's over yeah. here right now. They should be. You know, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna just give you an audio story right now. My man is standing behind to Polsky because he said something stupid. Okay, that might be an insurance policy, but I'll tell you what. I don't need the insurance policy. You have insurance policy for when something bad happens, and nothing ever bad happens to me. Because I'm the right. champion of all the televisions in the world. I got myself here. And now you have these two people, these two men, these two athletes in the ring. They're attempting to wrestle each other for the opportunity again, I might add. Again, for like the eighth time. For the eighth time, for the opportunity. For the opportunity for the championship of all the television. It don't make no sense. Well, well if, you would, if you would allow me to ask this question, just edify me for one moment. Of either of these two competitors that are here in the ring, is there one that you prefer to face at Summer of Champions? Spoiler alert, he beat them both already. So, who would I prefer? I like slamming Cameron around more. I really do, because he got yeah. a dumb face. I don't like his face, he's ugly. He's got a he's dumb ugly. face. He looks like a weasel. He, he looks like a weasel. He looks like a little marsupial. Okay, and, and I know that because I'm the champion of all television in Australia, and they got marsupials. Look at, look at them slipping over there. See, that's what Cameron always does. He always slips, he always chokes, okay? This is so, what you didn't know, Matt Topolsky. Not only is J.J. Blake the champion of all television here on the CW and Reality of Wrestling, not only on YouTube here in the, in the state of Texas, in the United States, you're the champion of the world uh, in, in, in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria, I'm the champion of all television in Bulgaria. It doesn't matter, they watch me, they pit me on. But to answer your question, Tempo, okay, I just talked to you about Cameron. Tempo, he don't deserve it. So how about neither? That's the answer to your question, neither. Neither men deserve this opportunity to go against a champion of all the television again. They don't deserve it. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't even be in the ring right now. They should be, they should be facing some scraps. They had to pull somebody from out of state. They had to pull someone from a random part of this country. What was it, like, like Kentucky or something? Kentucky. Kentucky, Ohio or something? They Des Moines, Ohio. From parts unknown to face me. Because I've already ran through all the competition. They know that the only people that even, I don't want to say come close, I don't want to give that disillusion, but they, 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 it'll be entertaining. It'll be entertaining if they're in the ring. That's it. And I'm not a beat him. I'm not a beat him 20 times a count. He makes solid points, Matt Topolsky. You know, everything aside, he has defeated these men on multiple occasions. Well, you can imagine my surprise that you do agree with everything that J.J. Blake is saying. Is that, is that, is that a smart remark? Are you being sarcastic that, 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 over there? Because... You being sarcastic over there? Because I kind of like my man right here. Do you hear it to Paul? Yeah, go on. Yeah. I just want to call the match. Quiet. No, okay. We'll call the match. Call the match. Talk. No, 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 no. Don't call the match. Don't talk about the match. Let's talk about myself some more. Let's talk about me. I'm the most handsome champion of all television that Adonis. you've ever seen. Adonis. Don't go anywhere. This match will continue after a short break. from the top here, cover, pin attempt. That was cool. Attitude. You remember that time I caught him and rolled through and threw him behind, threw him behind in the air? So <laughs> I got excited there, bro, because yeah. I'm over here thinking about myself. I, I took him, I rolled through, and oh. then boom. Oh, oh wow. Jay Stiff knee. Here we go. Cole head of steam here, suicide oh, dive. Oh, oh, wow. But it's cut off at the pass. Courtesy of a European uppercut from Terrell Tempo. I'm the champion of all television over there, too. Europe. I think I already said that. Yep. Europe and Asia. Flex into a bridge. Cover two. I'm the smartest champion out. of all television. You oh, always move back to Ryan Davidson, Ryan Keith. Who else? Uh, Rex Andrews was the television Rex Andrews, champion. Rex Andrews, see, Rex, Rex is in his own class, okay? He's in his own lane. That's why yeah. I respect Rex Andrews. He's in his own lane. He's doing his own championship thing, okay? But well, I'm telling you right now, if you, if you got the ring together, y'all know who will win. Yep, you. God here again. Yeah, kick That's what people always do. They always want to sit around and talk about who can beat me, who's going to beat me. Yeah. And what do I say to Chris Russo every single time? There ain't nobody that's going to beat me. Can't nobody stop me. Ain't nobody going to stop me. Regardless I agree. of how it happens, I agree. ain't nobody going to stop me. I agree. I'm never going to be upset. I don't, I, don't know, I, don't know what, I don't know what it is about Matt Topolsky and about Chris Russo where they always want to ask you, oh, who's going like to beat you? Who's going to beat you? No one's going to beat you. People in this arena right now, the people watching at home in whatever country, state, city they're in, they're losers. They're all losers. losers. I agree. Every single one of them. I came out. I came out in this crowd that they're disrespecting me. And that's fine. Because I don't need them. They didn't get me where I was today, where I am, where I'm going to be. So they can kick rocks.
right there. This is a little frog over the top, and an insecure kick from Cameron Cole. Rolls him over, lateral press here, hooks a leg, cover two, and a kick out. This is your main event on Reality of Wrestling. This. I know it's, it, yeah, I, I know. They're great competitors, but you know they're just not up to the I don't the even caliber. need to study. Is it, is it just look. me or is there an echo in here? Wait, you hear an echo? You hear an echo? You hey, did you hear an echo? Did you hear an echo? Did he? No, he don't hear. I don't no, he don't hear echo. He just shook his head. No, no echo. So we're here from Terrell Tempo. Kick out of two. No echo. No puppet. Well, Don't tempo. look over here, Tempo. Looking in the eyes Don't of look J.J. Over here. Blake. He looking at that go. He ain't looking at me. He know better than that. Last one looked at me. Bam! Bam! Blake in. Blake in. Right One, two, three. three. Gone. G-O-N. Done. D-O-N. No. No, it's D-O-N. D-O-N. It's D-O-N. You can't even tell me. You can say whatever you want. You can spell it however you want to. Don't play with me. Come on. Come on, lad. Slam from Terrell Tempo. This, this boy, see, he is. He always doing that stuff. Always trying to entertain and pander to the people watching at home, the people watching in the arena right now, and that's his problem. That's why he is weak. That's why he will never ever be the champion of all the television again. He got it one time, and it was a fluke. The minute he got the ring with me, it was done. The people chanting for him right now, they're all stupid. They're all idiots. They're all uneducated. All they do is watch TV. All they do is watch TV. That's their problem. They just sit around and watch TV all day. Watching me, looking at my face, looking at how handsome I am, how smart I am, loving the way I talk, loving the way I breathe. They adore you. What can you say? As they should. Cameron and I won't knock for that. Cameron Cole, oh, those tempo into the These men are giving it their all. Buckle. Okay, I'll give it that. They're giving it their all. They're, they're trying the well, like I said, right now. They're trying to fight for the opportunity for the championship of all of the television. Shots, forearms to the face. Oh. A war 
of attrition between these two gladiators. The winner will become the number one contender for J.J. Blake's television championship. Wow. Not they deserve it. Not that they deserve it. High knee. This match right now. This is disgusting. From the cool kid, and now Cameron Cole looking for an opportunity here to seize the moment. Going up top again, Matt. You know what that means. High risk, but a high reward. I won't give him that. He is high risk. He, he will put the risk out Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tempo. Taking advantage here. Tempo. Looking for, looking uh -oh. for a superplex here. We've seen this before. We saw it in that No Limit Steel cage match. Oh, hang on, hang on. Superplex oh. from the top. <laughs> it looks like oh, Tempo nah, won. Son. <laughs> well, Tempo and Tempo and, and Cameron Cole are in there. We're hearing the music of Booker T. Controversy. Oh, I know why you're out here, Booker. All right, these two in this ring, you two men, you both look like losers to me. Y'all are both losers. Is this now that y'all won this match? There ain't no number one contender for summer champions. I will not be defending my championship. Thanks for coming out here, Book. That's what's up, man. We well, came out there to let you know. I mean, JJ has a point. Both men were pinned down on the mat. Well, I mean, y'all both losers. Just like everybody in this arena, y'all all losers. All y'all losers. Whoa, 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 shut up. First and foremost, what a hell of a match. Give it up. Give it up for Cameron Cole. Give it up for Tempo. Guys, one referee says Tempo won, one ref says Cameron Cole won. Right now, we have a stalemate, but you said both of these men are losers. The way I see it, both of these men are winners. Because, because as summer champions, guys, do you want to see a triple threat? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Summer of Champions, it will be Cameron Cole, Terrell Tempo, and J.J. Blake for the television championship. Now, can you dig that, wow. sucker? Well, I can certainly dig that. The Raw Nation can certainly dig that. J.J. Blake will have to defend his and television Matt, championship. Shut your dirty mouth. You shut your mouth right now. I'm sick of this. Uh, this is the, this is that, this is the big old low. I'm the television champion. I'm the champion of all television. Booker T is the lawmaker here in reality of wrestling. And Matt, we will see a triple threat match at the Summer of Champions for J.J. Blake's television champion. Absolutely breaking news from the boss man himself, Booker T. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, another incredible night of action from the reality of wrestling. And next week it begins the biggest night in reality of wrestling history in Summer of Champions 4.